So in this video, we're going to be learning how to set up GeoDNS. So that probably makes no sense to most people. And essentially what GeoDNS is, where you can change your DNS queries depending on whereabouts in the world your users are coming from. And the reason I made this video is because at the minute I'm working on the new version of HowCode.org. And one of the things I want is I want HowCode.org to be fast for everybody, no matter whereabouts in the world they are. So to do that, you have to have servers that are located as close as possible to everyone in the world. Using this special trick with your DNS, you can route people to specific servers depending depending on whereabouts they live. Because they're closer to the server, their experience on your website will be much faster. The reason I'm making the video is because HowCode uses Cloudflare for security. Uh, and whenever a website sits behind Cloudflare, I didn't actually know it was possible to add these sort of features because Cloudflare doesn't natively support them. So I found a workaround and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. So you need two domain names. I have francismcnamee.com here, and then I'm gonna use the bestbase.co domain name as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a CNAME record. So we'll create a CNAME and it's gonna be called just the the at sign which means it's the root of the domain name so it's the CNAME record for francismcnamee.com. You can't normally do this in DNS. Cloudflare has a workaround, so it actually does work when you do it with Cloudflare. And the domain name it's gonna to point to is just gonna be go.bestspace.co. So we're gonna click add record, and we want the record to be behind the orange cloud because that hides the IP address of the origin server, which protects you from things like DDoS attacks. Next, we wanna to go to the best space zone, which is the zone of the other domain name. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a subdomain. And I'm gonna create a subdomain called geo.bestspace.co and I'm going to delegate it to Amazon Route 53, which is Amazon's DNS service that will provide this extra functionality. So this is powered by Amazon Web Services. So what we're going to do is put in our domain name, which is geo.bestspace.co. It costs 50 cents per month, plus whatever number of queries you do. So it's not that expensive at all. So we're going to click create to create that zone. And now we have our zone created and we can create records. But what we want to do is click on this first one and we want to copy these name servers to Cloudflare. So this is like whenever you buy a domain name, you have to point your name servers to Cloudflare what we're doing it by creating NS records is we're pointing the name servers of our subdomain to Amazon from Cloudflare. This will allow us to host our zone on Amazon. So we put in geo again and we paste in the second name server. We only actually need one, uh, but we're going to put in four for redundancy. We're going to put in geo again. We're going to paste in that name server. And finally, we're going to paste in our last name server. And we paste that in, click add record, and there are four records have just been added. Cloudflare's DNS refreshes extremely quickly. So if I was to go to terminal and I was to type in dig, which is a command that lets you run a DNS query, and I was to say geo.bestspace.co, and I was to type in ns, because I want to look at the ns records. If I click enter, you can see our domain already points to Amazon. There is our records there. So because I know it points to Amazon, I can go to route 53, which is Amazon's DNS hosting, and I can create some records, and I can make these records change depending on where in the world I am. So if I click create record set, I'm just going to leave that blank, which means it will apply to geo.bestspace.co. And I'm going to put in an A record that says 10.10.10.10. And if the writing policy is simple, that just means no matter where you are in the world, this query will return this IP address. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on geolocation and I can click on any country I want or any continent I want. So I can say if you're from Europe, you're going to get 10.10.10.10. I'm going to type in Europe just for the name. And there we have our first record. So if you're from Europe, you're going to see 10.10.10.10. I'm going to create another record. Uh, it's going to go to geo.bestspace.co and I'm going to put in 20.20.20.20. And I'm going to go to writing policy. And I'm going to click geolocation. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose North America. And if you're from just say NA, click create. We're going to see 20.20.20.20. And I'm going to do one more. I'll say 30.30.30.30. These are obviously just random IP addresses. I'm going to click geolocation one more time and I'm going to put in South America. So there we have our three record sets. So if you're from Europe, you'll see 10.10.10.10. If you're from North America, you'll see 20.20.20.20. And if you're from South America, you'll see 30.30.30.30. And at the minute, if you're from anywhere else, you're actually just not going to get any record returned. So what we'll do is we'll click create record set. We'll create one more, which is going to point to 0, .0, 0.0.0.0. We're going to click geolocation again, and the location is just going to be default. So this is the default one. We're going to click create. So now we have four record sets, and depending on where you are in the world, you'll see a different record. So if I go to this website, it's called whatsmydns.net, and I put in geo.bestspace.co, and I click search. What you're going to see is different IP addresses appearing depending on whereabouts in the world these servers are located. So you can see in Los Angeles it got 20.20.20.20. In Brazil it got 30.30.30.30. And if we go back to Route 53, you can see for South America, which was Brazil, we got 30. For North America, we got 20. And for Europe, we got 10. And for everywhere else, we got 0. So you can see in Europe, we got 10s. 
and in Australia we got 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0. But we're not done yet. We wanted this to apply to our domain francismcnamee.com. So whenever we go to francismcnamee.com, it goes to geo.bestspace.co. So nobody should actually know about geo.bestspace.co because that will give away the IP addresses of our servers, which could make us vulnerable to a DDoS attack. But if I was to turn off the cloud, for Cloudflare and I was to run a query said dig francismcnamee.com and I hit enter. You can see we get 10.10.10.10 printed out. So if I run this on francismcnamee.com, you see we get the exact same result. So I've just cleared my DNS cache and if I go back to Cloudflare and I turn the orange cloud back on, our website will be hidden behind Cloudflare. And now if I run it again after I've cleared my DNS cache, you can see we get the Cloudflare IP addresses. But if I was to go to my website, the actual server I would hit would be 10.10.10.10. So hopefully that was useful. That shows you how you can use GeoDNS and Cloudflare to distribute your visitors across all your servers, depending on where they're coming from. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Don't forget, if you have any questions, you can email me at francis.hyco.org. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.